All right, here we go. We got this. This, this is the one. I feel it. All right. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Dinner the oh. <laughs> Let's take a look into some of our imperfect moments this year, starting with anchors simply blanking out. One quality that makes Gahan schools really special is our diversity. In this, all students learn from each other. Uh, <laughs> they have well over 300 students performing in one choir at a time. Shoot. A group of students that always seem to be working is our athletes. Speaking of our athletes, do you have a sports report for us, Sydney? I sure do. Colton Bosaw and Jackson Wolf have a story on... I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the wrestling team hopes to build on last season's progress. Oh, sorry. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. You hear it? Th mm. Five, four, th I have no idea what I'm saying. Almost Maine is about the little town that deals with eight different types of love. Students have been working very hard in all the different aspects of production. Over 100 students helped to build and design this show. I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> four, three, two, one. Okay, five. <laughs> the set crew for the fall play Almost Maine has been well underway for a couple of weeks. Hi, I'm what? I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I don't know. You I'm Max Driver. The first you would like to welcome you to the boys basketball team beat Whetstone over set. Uh, Shoot, over Saturday. <laughs> a teacher who works extremely hard here at the high school is Mr. Branning. He teaches a number of different history classes here at JLHS. <laughs> Thank you. This has been JW Production. <laughs> All right, Dylan has certainly been very busy these past few weeks. Some other students here at the high school that are very busy are our athletes. Speaking of athletes, do you have a sports report for us, Josh? Yes. The Lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rough for sports this week. At Gehenna. Thanks, Dante. Oh my God. <laughs> Other times, we can stumble and get tripped up on the lines we have to memorize. Teaching students to love reading at a very young age is very important as they get older. Older, older, older. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. A class that was started about seven years ago disappeared for two years ago. What? All right. Four, three, two, one. Steve. Teachers, okay. It's 14 years, all five choirs at her. In order for many students to save up for college, a lot of students have jobs as a high school. As a high, <laughs> as a high school. school. As a Four, three, two, one. The theater class, the members of the. Hold on a second, let me look at this. I always hate the theater ones. This is going to be their first winter driving. Sean Coglin has some stories. Oh, no, he doesn't. Has. Has. There are many support. Stat. God, I can't even see. And that's a wrap for sports here at Gehanna. Thanks, Max. We would also like to shake. Uh, <laughs> I, I said thank you. Most of Mr. Singer's time lately has been devoted to building the set for Almost Made. Mylon Jackson attends the rehearsal of this show and brought this back. Does that make sense? Gehanna Lincoln High School can seem very large at first, especially for freshmen. Connor Ingham gives us a closer look. Oh, my God. Another way for students to show their school spirit. Oh, my God. The girls cross country team has their state meet this Saturday. I can't say dates. <laughs> Wait, it's this Saturday. Just, don't you? just say just competed in, or uh, just. Just won the regional final and they move on to the state they meet. Move on to the state meet. <laughs> it's not that hard. I don't know why I'm making it this hard. Volleyball. <laughs> Volleyball. This class helps give students some pointers for students who are interested in the musical and the. Uh. And in other sports, the girls' soccer team tied Hilliard Davidson 0-0 zero to zero in a tie. Uh and sometimes, it's not always people in front of the camera that mess up. Even the great Mr. Gregory has his flaws. Okay. Wait, who am I looking at? One or two? Again? They're both pointing at me. To, can you guys be quiet, please? It's kind of distracting. A select group in the Gehenna Marching Band is the percussion section, AKD. Their job is to get the crowd, student section, 
and the band, even, excited for, during the fourth quarter of the game. This tradition started in the 1970s. We're taking this take, Mr. Gregory, I almost had it! <laughs> Apparently I'm still fuzzy. Mr. G was, can't figure it out. Both relays, 4x2 and 4x4, are top three in the state. The base, basketball, why are you pointing? You point, I can see that. Rossio. Ross the Moss? Ross and then E O. Three, two, one. The diving team at the high school is well into their season. Mylon Jackson takes us. And there is always a fair share of noises heard on set. And in other sports, the Cahano Lacrosse team. For the past 15 years, Gehenna has taken choirs to solo and ensemble competitions and has received one at district and state events. In fact, Gehenna has been invited to the... to the... <laughs> oh. Another teacher who improves skills of performing here at the high school is Mr. Lehman. He is... <laughs> Another, who helps. Another musical group that has a strong history in Gehenna is the Instrumental Musical Program. These students need a lot of time and support to make sure they do uh, mm -hmm. Imad Faki and Ryan Taylor have some pointers to make this process go very smart. Dang it. Gahanna Lincoln High School is one of the largest high schools in Central Ohio. Because of that, this cr this, 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 okay. A member of the club talks to some keep stuttering. It's 3D concepts. They get to play with strip. They get the. The students are given the chance to work with. Now, here's a few of our personal favorites. Four, three, two, one. Eating healthy is very important. The man that has been the announcer for the high school band for the past 45 years is Jim Seam. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm mixing up names now. Singer. I'm so sorry. Like, I really felt good today about this. Okay. It's five, five, four, three, two, one. The man that has been the announcer for the high school band for the past 45 years is Jim Singer. Jim Singer is a very important fixture at the high school. Ben Steeman talks to the man, the myth, the legend, Jim Oh, dang it! All right, there. Can I go? Five, four, three, two, one. The girls' soccer team is under new leadership this year. A captain, Lindsey Stamis, takes us to talk to the coach. So far, they've been winning all their games. Hopefully, they have a winning season. Anna just had a new business open up named Zulili. Ben Stevens was at the ribbon cutting and brought this back. Listen. You're really, you're really testing my patience. Yeah. You ever had a, a chair thrown at you before? No. Five, four. <laughs> Five, four, three. Ben Steeman. I said Ben. I said Ben. You had it right. I said Ben. That's a wrap for sports this week. Countdown. Oh three, two, one. Here's another story a WGLH reporter brought black. <laughs> space here at Gehenna has always been a premium. For students, space is always a premium here at Gehenna. Space at Gehenna is a premium. One of the prize spaces for students is a parking spot. Students at Gehenna Lincoln have to go a, a, at Gehenna, a, a space at Gehenna is always a premium. Students. Five, four, three, two, one. From all of us here at WGLH TV, thanks, thanks for, for a great, great year. year. <laughs> thanks for a great year. Thanks for a great year. From all of us here at WGLH TV, thanks, thanks for a great year. year. Yeah.